Hello everyone, my name is Jerry D'Ambrosio, Senior Instructor here at VectorVest, and I'm excited to announce a brand new partnership in which VectorVest has entered with Ally Financial. You now have the capability to trade stocks directly through the VectorVest platform into your Ally Financial account. You can select stocks from anywhere within the VectorVest software, send them to your Ally account using the Trade Now feature. This simply eliminates having to go back and forth between VectorVest and Ally to manually enter each position one at a time. You can also trade baskets of stocks with just a few clicks of the mouse. Here I am at the home page of the VectorVest 7 program and the first thing you're going to want to do is link up your Ally account to VectorVest 7. So to do that, I'm going to come up to the top right, click on Tools, go to Application Settings, and click on the Trading tab up at the top. Right here, you see a link that says add a new brokerage. So I'm gonna click on that. And I'm gonna link my account to VectorVest 7. Now, if you don't have an Ally account, you can use this link right below to open up a new account. So if I click on that, here's how it works. It says use the link below, right here, where it says open up a new account today, and open an Ally Invest account. Fund it within 30 days with $5,000 or more and get $1,000 in trade commission credit. You'll also receive a free copy of the options playbook and the integrated trade now feature within VectorVest. If I scroll down, as a select member, you'll enjoy dedicated support, broker assistance, waived fees, and no cost express deposits. Very simple to open up a new account. Just click on the link right here. I'm going to go ahead and link up my account to VectorVest. So I'll click on this link here. It'll ask you for your username and password. Enter those in. Click on sign in. It'll ask you, would you like to authorize VectorVest to access your account? Just simply click on authorize. And you're ready to go. If for any reason you need to unlink your Ally account, you can do so using this link right here within the trading tab as well. Below that are order defaults. The default order is set to a market order. This of course is when you're placing trades. You can set the default to a limit order, a stop order, or a stop limit order. And you can also change the defaults for those type of orders as well within the trading tab. I'm gonna leave it at a market order, click on okay. So I mentioned earlier that you can trade stocks from anywhere within the VectorVest program. So I'm gonna come up to the top, click on Viewers, and then Stock Viewer. Now let's just say we're looking at our top VST stocks here and you wanted to purchase the top three VST stocks. So I'm gonna highlight the top three stocks, I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna select Trade Now Ally. This will open up an order ticket, and I'm going to review this order ticket with you. I'm going to move from left to right here, so you'll see the first column is action. You can either buy, sell, sell short, or buy to cover the security. I'm going to select buy. To type in how many shares I wish to purchase, so I'm going to type in 100 shares. You have the symbol, the company name, the current bid, ask, and last prices. The order type, remember I had the default set to market, so it is a market order. You can change the order type right here from the order ticket as well. If you change it to a limit order, you can then change the limit price. And also, if you use a limit order, you can change the duration from just good for the day to good till canceled. I'm going to leave it at market order. Come back down here to HIIQ. I want to buy that one as well. Type in 100 shares. I'll leave the order type at market and the same thing with court 100 shares okay so if everything looks good here you simply click on preview orders you'll see the estimated total commission at the bottom ally is now offering three dollar and 95 cent commission per trade for vector vest clients you can see that in the estimated commission column what the estimated cost is for each trade the total estimated cost at the bottom right here. And all you have to do from here, if everything looks good, just simply click on place orders. That will send those three orders directly to your Ally account. Now I'm not gonna go ahead and do that here, but let me show you another great feature that we have within the VectorVest program. I'm gonna click on exit and then just click on cancel. So I mentioned that those orders are sent over to Ally. 
they're not tracked in VectorVest. You can manually track them. You can use the genius maybe to manage that basket of stocks that you just purchased, but they don't automatically appear in the VectorVest program as a managed position. We have a tool though called the RoboTrader. The RoboTrader is a powerful tool that makes it much easier to manage your portfolio by keeping your emotions out of the way. It helps you trade your plan the way it was intended and RoboTrader watches those stocks around the clock and alerts you when a trade needs to be made. Now RoboTrader is available to all account levels, VectorVest 7 end of day, intraday, or real time. So I'm gonna come up to the top, click on RoboTrader, and since we've already linked up our Ally account, right, we need to add that account to RoboTrader. Notice you don't see your Ally account here. You're able to trade directly through VectorVest to your Ally account, but we have to add the Ally account to the RoboTrader tool as well so that it can watch our portfolio in the stocks that we purchase. So I'm gonna come down here to the bottom left, click on Add New Account. You can manually place trades with a brokerage of your choice within RoboTrader, or you can automatically place trades with a partner brokerage. And I'm gonna click on Ally. Here's the Ally account that I just added to this VectorVest 7 account. We've just labeled it Ally Retirement. Check the box, simply click on Add Account, and you've now added your Ally Financial Trading account to the RoboTrader. And I mentioned earlier, folks, that when you send over orders, right, the way I did it earlier, just using the stock viewer and the trade now feature without using RoboTrader, it sends them to your Ally account, but I mentioned that they are considered unmanaged positions. If we look down at the bottom, this is our Ally account that I just set up. Notice in that account, there are currently eight holdings. They are considered unmanaged because they are not part of a portfolio within the RoboTrader tool. When you select the account, you'll see what the total value of the account is and your current buying power as well. So the last thing I'm going to do is show you how to add stocks to a RoboTrading portfolio. I'm going to move back over to another VectorVest 7 account that we actually use every day during our Jockey Club sessions. So this is the RoboTrader tool that we use every day for the Jockey Club. Notice there are two accounts linked up here. We use our Ally Financial account. We also use our Interactive Brokers account, which you can link up as well. And you can also create multiple trading systems within each account. So you'll notice in our Ally account, we have two trading systems within that account. And in our IB account, we have three trading systems within that account. So to create a new trading system within our Ally account, you just simply click on this little plus sign here that says add new trading system. It'll bring up the Portfolio Genius Wizard. You give it a name. I'm just gonna call this My Portfolio. You could put a description if you'd like. Initial investment, this is important. You're gonna tell the genius how much money to manage within this trading system. And for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm only going to put in $1,000. If you have the VectorVest 7 real-time program, or if you own the Auto Timer module, you can select an existing trading system that we've pre-built for you, or you can build a custom trading system. So if I click on Build a Custom Trading System, you can use any market timing system that we have here in the list as well. Again, this is only available if you are either a real-time subscriber or own the auto timer module. For the purposes here, I'm just gonna not use timing. The automation rules for the up situation, you can fill stocks and put them into this portfolio from one of your favorite VectorVest searches. If you own the Derby, you can also fill stocks from our Derby tool as well. I'm gonna select don't fill. I'm gonna show you guys how you can cherry pick stocks from anywhere within the software and put them into this trading system, into this portfolio. So I'm gonna select don't fill. I'm gonna set stop criteria. Remember I said earlier that the RoboTrader helps you trade your plan the way it was intended. And part of that plan, of course, is setting stops, right? So I'm gonna select percent gain loss. I'm just gonna simply select a 15 gain, five loss. I'm gonna sell positions when they go up 15% or I'm gonna sell them 
if they go down 5%. I'm going to select finish. I want the genius on because I want my stop criteria looked at throughout the day. And finally, I'm going to click on save. That adds that trading system to my Ally account. Notice I have $1,000 in buying power. You can see the total value. No gain loss today, no gain loss overall. I haven't entered any positions just yet. So to do that, I'm going to go back to the stock viewer and I'm going to add those three top VST stocks to that trading system. So I'm going to highlight all three. I'm going to right click. Now, instead of selecting trade now ally, remember I showed you how to do that earlier, right? If I were to click on that, that would open up a trade ticket and that would send those three trades directly to my ally account but they'll be unmanaged, right? They won't be in a portfolio so that I can track them within VectorVest. To do that, I'm gonna select Trade Now with RoboTrader. This brings up the wizard. It'll say, choose account. I have multiple accounts here in this VectorVest 7 program, so I'm gonna choose my ally account. Click on Next. It says, choose trading system. I'm gonna choose the trading system that I just created. If you need to add a new trading system, you can do that from this wizard as well. You just click on add new trading system. I'm gonna select my portfolio, click on next. I'll spend all $1,000 on those three positions. The action is gonna be buy. You can also sell short as well. Stop criteria, I'm gonna select that 5% loss or 15% gain. If I click on next, that will open up the trade ticket and look at what the robo trader did folks it automatically knew from the previous prompt that i wanted to buy those three stocks so the action here is already filled in the quantity is already filled in i already told it that i want to allocate a thousand dollars to these three positions so it's smart enough to know how many shares to buy for each stock and that's what the tool will do it'll dollar weight your portfolio evenly so roughly putting about thirty three hundred dollars into each position that equates to nine shares of HIIQ 21 shares of court 14 shares of KEM everything else looks good here market orders are fine I'll click on preview orders there's the estimated total commission 395 per trade look about three hundred and thirty dollars on average into each position again dollar weighted not share weighted. There's the total estimated cost, total estimated commission. If I click on place orders, they're being sent to Ally. You'll notice the alerts button that just popped up here. They're still pending. It says at the top, your orders have been successfully submitted. Please close this window to view an updated order status. If I click on close, they're still pending, as you can see, and they've just executed. You got a little alerts button here at the bottom left tells you how many shares were just purchased. If I click on close and then cancel, if I go back to RoboTrader, and here we are folks. If I click on our holdings tab, here are our current holdings, the purchase type, whether it's long or short, the purchase date, the current price, the current return on investment. So for the purposes of this demonstration, folks, I didn't put a lot of money into each position, right? Just $338 most of this negative return on investment is just simply commission. You can see the cost per share, the percent price change for each stock from the previous day's close, the current recommendation, how many shares you currently are holding, the gain in dollar amount, and again, that basically at this point is just simply commission, the gain or loss per share, the cost basis, the market value, how many positions you currently hold, the industry that the stocks are in, and the stop criteria as well. If I right click on that and auto fit, you could see our stop criteria for each position is a 15 gain or five loss. Folks, this is a fantastic tool to help you manage your portfolio. It keeps everything all in one place, very organized, so you're able to keep track of each position every single day. If I click on our graphs tab here, Got a little portfolio equity curve as well. Now, we're only about six minutes into this current campaign. You could see that the equity curve is an intraday equity curve. If I click on this wrench right here, you can also change the equity curve to an end of day equity curve as well. Obviously, we don't have end of day data just yet. We're only six minutes into the campaign. 
I'm going to go back to intraday and click on that wrench again to close. You can also view some reports within RoboTrader as well. So if I go to reports, you can view the transaction log. You can view a summary report. Gives you the current values as of the close of every day. Your current winners and losers. The best and worst trades. Your fees. Interest received or paid. Your total commissions. If I scroll down. Again, no graph available just yet, but it will be each and every day when you open up the portfolio once the market closes. You can also view your trade history as well right from this report. If I click on that, and these will be all your closed positions as the campaign matures. If I close that. And lastly, there are some great resources within the RoboTrader as well. If I click on this resources tab up at the upper right, you can download a quick start guide, a reference guide. You can view and download a guide on how to use the RoboTrader in the Derby. And there's another video here where you can watch as well. So we have some great resources within the RoboTrader tool as well. And folks, you can try out the RoboTrader risk-free for 30 days by simply giving our support department a call at 888-658 or 7638 or visiting VectorVest.com slash VV RoboTrader. If you don't already have an Ally account, I strongly suggest to open up a new account. We've made the integration between VectorVest and Ally seamless, and it will really make your portfolio management a lot easier. Have a great day, folks.